Welcome to this video guys. In this video I am going to show you how you can transform your old sofas into something a little bit more desirable with Ron Seal chalk paint. You're just going to paint your fabrics and I'm going to demonstrate and show you how. Right guys, so as you can see this is my sofa. Heavily marked, heavily stained, a beigey, grey, two-tone colour. Look at it. Oh my god. It's really embarrassing. Don't even like people coming in here at the moment. And then we have, ooh, hello, 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 you gorgeous little grey puffy. So if you want to see how I turned this into this and how this is going to transform into something very nice like this, you best keep right, watching. Guys, this, right, guys, this is all you're going to need. So this is just diluted water in here with a little bit of fabric softener. It's meant to keep the sofa softness. So this is what you're going to be using. Then I've got the Rust-Oleum Chalky Finish Furniture Paint in the colour Winter Grey. It's just like this lovely light grey colour. And then all you're going to do, guys, is mix the paint with water. Because you want it to be like a really runny, runny consistency like this. Because you're not actually painting the furniture. You're using the paint to act as a dye, to dye your furniture. So, yeah, as you can see, a really runny, really watery paint. It's meant to be at the consistency of one to four, but if I'm honest with you, I haven't particularly done that. I've just literally mixed up what I think is, is needed. As you can see, this is the current state of my living room right now. I've literally just moved the sofa into the centre, well, it's not exactly the centre, but into my living room, onto a dust sheet, so to protect my carpet from the paint, because I can't get my sofas out of here because they are so wide it's what it currently looks like so i'm just going to literally go around and paint it all now so as you can see i've just removed all the cushions off my sofa and i'm literally going to work on the outer part of my sofa first and i'm going to do the cushions uh later after i've done the spinny chair also let's get started i'm just going to work on this section first so i'm just literally going to show you what you do but I'm not going to show you me doing the whole sofa, that would be really boring, but I'm just going to show you how to do, how you would go about doing the whole sofa. So um, you literally need to make sure that your sofa is saturated. So the wetter the sofa is, the, the less the paint will sit on top of the sofa and the more it will just act like a dye. So can you see, I'm just soaking it like this. You only want to soak a small section because you don't want it to dry before you actually get to the other section that is definitely wet we're going to take our paint and then we literally just go in to paint our sofa sure you get into all the little bits guys And that is basically what I'm going to do for the whole sofa. And I'll show you what it looks like when I've done it. drastic colour change I didn't want it like I wanted my sofa to still be grey but this is just more of a desirable grey that I wanted so yeah are you excited to see the finishing result because I am already you just need to follow this and show your sofa is soaking wet um, use the paint with the water mixed together just paint it on it's probably going to take two coats but what you will need to do then, guys, because obviously the texture of your sofa will change. It will be slightly um, 
more crisp but what you need to do then is use a sanding block and sand it all down and it does bring it back to the soft feel you then have the option then guys of the fact that you can either lacquer it with the wax but then it gives your sofa almost a leather look and if you want that and you like that then that's absolutely great i'm gonna try and stick with it just like this we've done our puffy our puffy is actually dried we've done two coats on the puffy and now it is completely dry you can sit on it and nothing comes off on your clothes or anything so i know that's what a lot of you will be wondering and i will do a clothes test for you at the end this is the morning after now guys and as you can see everything is drying i'm so excited to see the end result i can't wait i hope you're excited as well we just need this baby to dry hi guys hello and welcome back to my sofa update so this is basically my update on me painting my sofa with ron seal chalk paint um as you can see you've seen the clips previously as to how my sofas were before and now what they are like after but i am literally going to show you what they are literally like now after um I didn't bring anything downstairs for me to show you that, that to do a paint test on so i'm just going to use my black sleeve of my jumper as you can see i'm going to rub it hard as i can on my sofa and show you that there is nothing coming off because i know that's going to be a lot of questions that people have is is the paint coming off on your clothes and no it is not it's not coming off so if you follow the steps that i've mentioned in this video you will have the same result if i'm honest with you my sofa this had my puffy had two coats my sofa has only had one coat now i could potentially do with another coat on my sofa and my spinny chair but it is really time consuming so i need to ensure that the children aren't here because obviously wet painted sofas and toddlers just doesn't mix potentially might get round to painting them again but for the moment i am really happy with how they look they look a lot fresher a lot newer and a lot cleaner than what they did before i painted them and if you can see it as well if i just turn you around where i actually painted them i now look like i've got hoover lines in my sofa and I'm all about the hoover lines so i absolutely love love that this is how my sofas are looking now guys and i am so so happy with them you would not believe i feel like i've had a new sofa and obviously i haven't i've just painted the fabric but i think they look so much nicer so much fresher so much cleaner and it's changed this room completely it was i was at a point where i absolutely hated my living room and now i love it again all thanks to this really cheap hack that anybody can do you can turn any undesirable sofa into something a lot nicer look at these lines guys i absolutely love them the way you paint the fabric with your brush uh, you can get lines so they look like hoover lines and i am all about that the the material is still lovely and soft so there's no crisp feel to it if you sand it down like i explained in the video and i am just really really chuffed with how it has turned out and i would advise anybody to give it a go before you purchase a new sofa if you have if you've got time and patience have a try at this obviously there are some bits of the sofa that could do with another coat like i described but i am happy look at those lines i love them makes it look like i'm mrs hinch and i've been hoovering my sofa and i haven't but yeah as you can see this could do with another coat but for now i am really happy guys but i will probably get round to it when my little monkeys are in nursery at a different day but yeah overall what a success and i'm so glad i tried it and i didn't just jump into it straight into a new sofa right guys are we ready for the paint test as you can see black hardy i'm rubbing as hard as i can And nothing nothing's coming off 
so I'm really really happy with this result guys the whole project only cost me £30 no it cost me well it cost me for three tubs of paint and they were £12 each so that's £36 and I had to buy a sanding block which is £1.50 so it's £37.50 and that is all it cost me I already had um the Lenore I had already had fabric softener here and that is all I used and I had a paintbrush obviously and that is all I used so if you like my sofa update don't forget to press the red button down below um if you want to see more little things like this on my channel my channel is a bit of a Welsh lunatic channel where I just post anything that I think might be of interest to yourselves and obviously memories for me so if you want to see any more um, from me, don't forget to press the red button down below. Give it a big thumbs up if you like this video. It would really help me out. And leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Whether you think they look much better than before. And if you don't think they look better than before, you are crazy! Um, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye!